Welcome to Cooking with Kathy, part of Holy Cross Health Diabetes Prevention Program. Today we are making pumpkin hummus. Right? It's pumpkin season, guys, and besides the lattes and the treats, we'll make something healthy. I'm going to do something a little different with the camera today. I know you're going to see a lot of my floor. Let's see if I can adjust the camera a bit so you can see the ingredients. First, I'm going to toast the spices. So I have, I have garlic, I have half teaspoon of ground cumin, a quarter teaspoon ground coriander, a quarter cup of water, quarter cup of lemon juice, three quarters cup canned pumpkin, one 15 ounce can of chickpeas, and then a quarter teaspoon salt and one eighth cayenne pepper. That's always optional based on your preference. First, I am going to toast the spices and I know you're not gonna see, I hope you can see what I'm doing here with my hands. I'm gonna, you're not gonna see me as much today, which is fine. So two teaspoons of olive oil or sesame oil. I always have olive oil on hand. You want to keep in mind that the oils expire. So if you're going to use a lot of different oils, get small bottles. Don't get the industrial size bottles of oil. And olive oil has a low smoking point. So you want to make sure that you don't overheat it. Okay, so I'll add the garlic. This is my easy cheat from Trader Joe's, the garlic that comes from the freezer section. So it looks like little, a little ice cube tray. It stays in the freezer. I just pop that out into the pan. I usually let it defrost. You don't have to if you're going to be heating it up. And then my spices go in. So this is the dry spices. It's the salt, it's the cumin, it's the coriander, and the cayenne pepper. So set up a little bit. That's 30 seconds, super fast. So I just basically heated up the oil a little bit, toss the spices in, stir it around, and it is going in my food processor. So what if you don't have a food processor, a blender works? You can really mash the chickpeas by hand and do it that way. It won't be as smooth, but that's fine. Don't, don't go spending a lot of money on all these appliances and then maybe you're not going to use them, right? All right. Right, dumping in chickpeas. So one 15 ounce can, I rinse them and drain them. So you'll have to do that, rinse and, rinse and drain. A quarter cup lemon juice. I used about three large lemons. Quarter cup of water. And finally the pumpkin. Super easy. The spices, as always, smell really good. And you can see me now running that. All right, a quick run. We're going to go on mute. Smells great. So you have a knife. This display. This is a great snack for Halloween. If you have trick or treaters going out, you can start them off with something healthy. Okay, this is a nice 
appetizer for Thanksgiving. And I purposefully chose things to have a lot of nice colors. If you want, I would recommend a little sprinkling of the cayenne pepper on top at the end to make it more colorful. And if you like spicy, 